it's Laura. Today I am sharing what is left over from my July Scrap My Stash Challenge Kit. If you haven't checked out this series, make sure to check it out. There's so much inspiration in using up things from your stash and for the month of July, I wanted to use up a ton of partially used things for my stash. So right here, I have a pile of things that are completely used up and here I have all the things that I have left over. So first we have the things that I have left over. I've got these two packs of dimensional butterfly stickers. These were both full at the beginning of the month. I think I had only used one of them. And now I only have three stickers left total, so I can totally condense that down onto one sticker sheet and get rid of one of these. I have a strawberry sticker left over from a random puffy sticker pack, and I had just put that down there. So that's all that's left of these butterfly stickers. I'm really excited about that. And then the next thing I wanted to use up were a ton of labels. This pack was totally full. It was a 12 pack. And then I also had this sticker sheet that was brand new from Studio Calico. So I used up all but three of these tabs and I used up all but one of this tab sticker sheet. And I'm actually just gonna throw this out because I hate this red color and I tried so hard to use it this month and I just don't like it. And then I have the seven paper stickers. This used to have three sticker sheets in it with a ton of phrases on it and tons of duplicate phrases. So as you can see, I got it down to one sticker sheet that's mostly used up and I've only got a couple of gold foil stickers left of this to use up. And then I only used up two dimensional flowers this month. A little disappointed on that, but they're really beautiful and I know I will use them up at some point. So I will probably bring these back in a future stash kit to use again. I did not use up any of the silver glitter stars. I had pulled a ton of silver glitter scrap paper this month and a ton of Recollections chipboard silver glitter stickers. So um, I didn't end up using this pack and I love them so much. They're one of my favorite things scrapbooking wise that I currently have. So I'm okay that they're still brand new unused. I will use them at some point. They would be so cute on either a 4th of July or a New Year's Eve layout. And for more of the silver stuff, I used up a couple of these silver foil stickers. Still quite a few left over. This is new to my stash only a few months ago, so I'm okay with that. And then I have two big mommy stickers left over that I did not use. I did not use any of these tissue paper circles. I used up all but one of these dimensional animal stickers from Martha Stewart that have been in my stash for like six years and I've never used seven years. I've had them so long. And the only reason I didn't use this little bunny is because I don't like the way he's shaped. So I'm actually gonna put this in my de stash pile and get rid of it and send it to a new home. Getting down to the last of the embellishments I have left, I have some beautiful mess acetate plastic little hearts here that I didn't use up. And then I've got all of these silver foil white flowers here and I didn't use up any of these either. And then I used up two of these little suede bows and I have three left. And then this is the paper I have left. I have some little scraps here and I have two 12 by 12 pieces of paper left from this kit. And one thing I definitely learned from this kit was that I had pulled too much. I had two totally different color schemes and so many products in this kit. And the reason I did not use up more is because I it was just so big. So in future months, I'm going to go for a slightly smaller kit but now to the really fun and exciting part, I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I had completely used up. I had a beautiful mess sticker sheet here, totally used up. This was brand new. It had gold chipboard stars in this side and silver chipboard stars in this side. 36 pieces total. I used all 36 up and it was brand new at the beginning of July. This sticker sheet was also brand new. It was a me and my big idea sticker sheet and it had a ton of baby girl phrases and dimensional stickers on it. Totally used that up. And then I had some gold sequins that I had completely used up this month. 
This little sheet here had a ton of little rhinestones on it that I used up this month. This sticker pack had some dimensional clouds. It was brand new, totally used that up this month. These two sheets right here had more stickers on them, totally used these up. And these two sheets are actually from that pack that I was showing you, the gold foil pack of phrases from Studio Calico 7 Paper. Totally used those two sheets up and I only have one partial sheet left. I used all of the puffy stickers from here except for this one little strawberry that I showed you. Totally used up the rest of this sticker sheet, the label that was on this sheet, and alphabet stickers. I am so excited, guys. I used up three full sheets of alphabet stickers. They were partially used, and I hate when they get down to the last little bit there where it's hard to make words out of them. I completely finished them. There's not a single thing left. So I will be showing uh, layouts and process videos in the future about ideas on how to use stuff like this up and make sure to check out this whole challenge to see how I've used up so much of this stuff. This had a ton of different dimensional stickers on it from different thicker packs, different phrases from Dear Lizzie, Maggie Holmes, Crate Paper, all kinds of stuff, just little phrases here and there and icons that were left over from different thicker sheets that I had condensed on onto one paper. Totally used it up, gone out of my stash forever and a lot of those stickers have been there for a while so I'm excited about that. Totally used up all of these black and gold foil stickers. And then for sticker packs, at the beginning of July, these were partially used. This one had quite a few left on it still, and this only had a few on it. Totally used up all of these, and I can throw them out. I'm so excited. This makes me feel so good, because then I can bring new stuff into my stash and not feel guilty about all the old stuff that still hasn't been used. This sticker sheet of pink freezes totally used up. And then I had this pack of tiny alphabets from Gossamer Blue. I used up all of the tan ones. I only have a few of the black ones left and I'm actually just gonna throw these out. And I had one dimensional Maggie Holmes heart sticker shape here left and I finally used up that fringe heart. I used up all what was left of these little chipboard circle stickers here, and I'm excited about that. You can see the messy paint. There are process videos on how I used up so many of these products, and for these ones with some of the icons that I didn't like, I actually painted over them in a solid color, and I kind of used them as I would enamel dots with like a solid blue color or gold color on the page, so that was really fun. And then this had a ton of wood veneer hearts and stars in it. Totally used those up completely. And then I had one full 12 by 12 piece of Dear Lizzie vellum that has been in my stash for years and years and years. Used that up. And then I used up a double-sided tape pack. This used to be full, now it's all gone. I used up another tape roller. I don't get excited about finishing up my adhesive because then it means I have to go out and buy more, but I thought it would be fun to show you what I did use up. And then for my me and my big ideas, big stickers, I showed you that I had two of them left. I also used two of them up, so that was great. And I used up what was left of these label tabs. So now I can go ahead and throw all of this out, get rid of it. I used it all up and it's just the packaging that's left. I'm so excited. What I learned from this July Scrap My Stash Challenge Kit is that I need to have a slightly smaller stash in future months. So going into September, I'm going to have a smaller stash. I'm using the whole month of August here to catch you up on all of my past projects from July. I had so many videos recorded. I took the month of August off from doing these kit challenges so that way I could catch up on my videos and sharing with you guys. So going into the next month, September, I've learned that I'm gonna choose fewer things and less diversity, I think, in color. That way I can use more up and feel really great about it, but I still use a ton of stuff up this month and I'm feeling so awesome about it. I hope this series is inspiring you to get into your stash, create a kit, use your stuff up, especially all of these things you have that are probably partially used and years old. And it's just an awesome way to actually use the stuff in your stash instead of hoarding it. 
So like this video, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of the fun, creative stuff that I share, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!